Hey, this is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. Today we're using the Texa IDC5 version 14 to be hooking up to a 2012 Merc Cruiser 8.2 liter Mag MCM. So we're going to scroll down here and we're going to select that 8.2 liter. So here you have our different systems, the lever helm control module, gas injection, and your thrust vector control module. We're going to use the CAN node. We're going to go through that connection on the gas injection. You'll see our cables AM01 CAN plus AM25. We're going to hook that up to the terminator. Terminator is usually going to have a yellow or a red cap that says terminator on it. We're going to go on through that way. So right here we're going to go ahead and log in, make sure our ignition is on, hit confirm, and the system is going to scan. It's going to take a couple minutes. Our first page is going to pop up is the fault code. You'll see that 976. We'll double click on that. That's going to give you that code 237. If you go through our knowledge base that we have on the laptops, that's going to tell you it's an ex excessive knock detector. Um, so we'll go ahead and go into the parameters here and we'll show you the throttle position. We're going to go ahead and adjust that. Let you see that graphed out. Okay. And we'll just scroll down so you can see the other parameters. There's 93 of them. There's a ton of them on here. So we'll just scroll real, real quick so you guys can see what's going on, what, what the software has to offer. Okay, so we're going to go up to the status. That's going to give you your switches, your gear position. We're going to go ahead and switch that so you can see it's working. It's telling you it's in gear. We'll scroll down and see the rest of those. Okay, so we're going to ECU information. And you'll see that information right there. Your activations, here's all your tests and your uh, engine history. Here's your information on this. We'll go through that. It's going to give you the, there's three hours on this engine. We'll get at that. You can also print that out. And this will give you the form right here if you want to print it out. Save it, give it to the customer, whatever you need to do with that. Okay, so we'll scroll on down here. Here you have some of the activations, the fuel pump, idle air control. We'll go ahead and do the ignition coil test real quick. This is what it's going to look like. To switch the ignition coils, you're going to use your up and down arrows to switch those. You'll see it was on 1 and 6. This is going to do it. Cylinders 8 and 5. So we'll go ahead and hit confirm and you'll see it run through the test. Okay. We'll go ahead and clear out of that. Come up here and do the IAC valve. And you'll see that percentage up. You'll hear that IAC valve vibrating, buzzing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, here's your settings, your engine location, instrument configuration, trim adjustment. We're going to go over here to your technical docks. There's your wiring diagrams. If you double click on that wire, that's going to tell you that circuit. Um, you can also hit that little icon right there, and that's going to tell you on the left-hand side what, what is related to that circuit and where those dotted lines are running. And close out of that, just hit that again. So you'll see the information here. If you click on that icon or that part, it'll give you an image and then it'll give you the information on there. That's your injector. I'm going to go to the next page, show you those. So there's your knock sensor. I'm go up to the image. There's your image. And then you have your card information. There's your operating principle identification elements. Other characteristics, connection tests, and information on that. Okay, your vehicle sheets is going to give you some connectors. There's your nominal sheets, that's going to give you your O2 information, your low ranges and high ranges. We'll scroll through here. Okay, so there's your O2A range high. And there's your meaning, your solution. There's a lot of good repair information on this model. Okay, so there's a ton of it on this this model here. Okay, so we'll just finish scrolling through these. Okay, so this is a 2012 Mercruiser 8.2 Mag MCM. This is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. Thanks for watching.